Okay, I am online, I think. All right, so I'm not going to make this uh, very long. I told someone that I would be uh, recording a short little stint this evening, so I'm trying to keep my word on everything. And uh, so I will, uh, oh, by the way, this is Alex. Hello. And uh, answering questions from uh, comments uh, that I've received, not many, but you know, whatever there is. I did get one question, uh, uh, not on YouTube, but on Reddit. And uh, not that it, I don't know what's, what's good out there, but what do I use to record? Um, OBS, uh, that's it, it's just OBS, right there. OBS um, nothing fancy there uh, what do I use to uh, edit a little bit of editing I do is a uh, free software it's free and it's good I mean if it's called shot cut shot cut I would recommend it if you're looking to take the cheap way out if you're a professional uh, editor maybe not that's not the route you want to do but if you're looking to do uh just standard stuff on it shot cuts the way to go um no two ways about it if i got better i still would use shot cut until i really need to upgrade uh right now am i good at uh, editing no not really um does it make it a big difference right now possibly uh, I don't know how much. Um, I mean, the only difference would be for me to write the stories that I write at the onset. I was thinking that maybe I could... Uh, see, these stories come down three, four paragraphs long, too. I mean, why would you want to read an entire story to cover the video? Or... Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so I'll just leave the uh, the image clean without print. Um, I could do fades and cuts. On the longer ones, I guess I should. I'm getting lazy, I got to admit. Uh, but uh, I could do that. But on the standard five, six, seven minute ones, no reason to really do cuts and fades. I don't think so. Um, all right, and uh, another question is, it was kind of like a, from trance, I got a question, and the question was, make sure I'm live streaming here, looks good, yep, um, the question was, how do I do this, well, I record it and I do everything on a whim I don't really plan anything I figure and I may have said this before I think I did I don't make a plan okay I'm gonna do this kind of video and I'm gonna call it this and then I'm gonna have an outline and write it like this and I'm gonna use this kind of music no, because then I'm overthinking it. Um, the best way to do it is just to go ahead and just jump in the space engine and go for it. All right, fine. Just click on something, find something interesting, and run. Uh, Planetarium. Um, this. Okay. Is my latest planet that I used. For a video which I haven't posted yet I have not um, but it's completed minus the story uh, I've named I'm gonna put myself out there on this one I named it uh, what I name it let me see what I named it I named it uh, rebirth rebirth and so uh, it's could be a pretty good one. It doesn't. 
uh, it's edited, so the uh, it does not look like this. It, the planet does not look like this. Although, take a good look where I'm at right now. Kind of cool looking now. Even without editing, I probably should have just left it like this. I really should have. Uh, but I have this bad habit of editing stuff and just going overboard when uh, this would have been perfectly fine, you know, uh, just perfectly fine. But I had to go ahead and uh, be fancy and uh, do something else. So uh, I uh, use OBS to record. I have the music ready normally from uh, SoundCloud and I listen to the song. I kind of jump around, get a feel for something I like. Sometimes it turns out I don't like it as much as I thought I would, but more often than not, I do like it. And I uh, begin and record. Uh, like if the song, uh, I start the song, hit record, uh, I have hotkeys uh, that I use on OBS for the same key to start and stop, and that's the letter X. I found that to be kind of uh, easy to use uh, for a hotkey to start and stop recording, letter X. And then uh, I put it in, I press number three. I press number three for aircraft mode or four but normally it's three and uh, when I do that I can move it around with the mouse like so you don't see the cursor because I have the uh, left portion of the mouse pressed in or I can do without the mouse and just use my arrow keys as long as I keep the arrow uh, the cursor off screen and I have to move quickly and uh, I do prepare the video a little bit though. I find a, a place where I know I can move around. If it's over edited, I'm gonna have to move less. If it's unedited, I can move more. If it's under edited, it doesn't look as good. If it's edited, it looks better. Like I said, this planet looks good. But this is the, uh, the scene that you see right now. Take a look. Let's lighten it up a little bit. and stop go down here very nice huh would you like to see would you like to see the actual uh, beginning of the recording sure why not Let's see, what's it called? It's called um, Rebirth. So that's under R. R Rebirth. God dang it. There it is. There it is. All right, so right there, opening scene, right? And there you go. Well, the mountains don't look the same. That's because it's edited. Okay. Uh, the sky does not look the same. All right. Let's fast forward the uh, sky. Yep. You don't see any background here of the nebula. So and uh, also there is a ring around this planet I enlarged it a little bit it does look good but it just wouldn't have looked this looks more natural the other one looks more uh, fantastic I guess you could say maybe that's a, a word for it I don't know but see how easily I can move around this is easy uh, I call this stick mode when it's called free mode I call it stick mode because everything sticks stick 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 whereas 
you put in airplane mode, you just got a nice smooth little movement there. So there you go. All right. And uh, what else do I want to discuss? I'll give it another go. Is it a go? I actually do not. All right, so how do I do the videos? Uh, oh, on my uh, story, uh, the one I just made, the one uh, little fantastic little video show that I showed you there, I still need to give it a story. Having said that, I did give it a title first. So I work the story around the title. I have an idea as to what I am going to uh, write about. And the story will center around. It's not like everybody's reading, uh, looking at this video. I usually don't get that many views on these. Um, <clears throat> so uh, it's going to center. Uh, you know how you've heard in the past. Uh, we are all made of star stuff. That's literally true. You know the iron in our bodies and everything is. Uh, have you heard the crucibles, you know, whatever, uh, where the uh, explosion of a uh, red giant, a supernova, creates uh, birth of other systems. You know, some don't make it, some do. It's almost like a type of species that gives birth while they're dying. And it's the only time they can actually give birth is upon death. And with that death comes life. The larger you are, uh, the hotter you burn, I guess, uh, for a short uh, period of time, uh, the more massive the explosion, uh, hence uh, supernova. There you go. Okay. And uh, so I create uh, that story. I got SoundCloud, oh, I got three screens, SoundCloud on the left, Space Engine in the middle, OBS on the right. And I'm listening to the music, and as I listen to the music, I move my cursor around and follow the song. I wish I could follow it more but lags ruin the video and uh, yeah that's kind of hurtful so maybe when when the new version comes up because I do have a pretty decent computer as I said before um, but lags will be lags and uh, when the new video when the new version comes up I will uh, hopefully be able to move uh, quicker you know, when I do the uh, rise out of a deep canyon and going upwards, then moving right or passing through a cloud system, the clouds usually really uh, can kill a video. So I gotta be careful the way I edit those. Uh, clouds are a killer. Um, too much detail on mountains, eh, that, that hurts the video. Uh, again, I think the uh, videos are nice and all, and people, th I mean, I, I want to reiterate, and I'm, I'm not purpose, purposely trying to be humble. It's just the way I really feel. I don't feel like I'm really good at this. I'm just the one that did it, okay? Uh, so I just went out and started uh, making videos, not caring on how they looked or anything, never had an agenda never was trying to make a point now they've kind of found their own road the videos have the videos have I never had planned well I need to make each video and create a story behind each one and make a like a beautiful ballad out of it or make it just really colorful and spacey uh, the writing if you look at my first view on the writing ones, I I didn't really go all out. I didn't. That wasn't my intention at all. Uh, it was short, 
and some of them I barely said two sentences um, the first year, 2017. I mean, heck, I've done 202 numbered, those are the numbered ones, Space Engine videos. I'm not counting uh, uh, some of the other ones that I tried to immerse myself into and give it a series name. Those, uh, those failed. Um, uh, which brings me to an unnumbered series that I was doing uh, were the long videos, which I, I numbered the last one a couple of days ago, a 20 minute video. I know they're long, but some people want them. So, and it's not like I make a bunch of them. I don't. I make, I don't even think they're that good. I really don't. Uh, I think the point is good. The story is, okay uh, depending on what I want to discuss so uh, it's a Sunday evening I'm just sitting here uh, I feel like I'm talking to self uh, because nobody's really watching I don't think I think maybe one person's on here but all right what I'll do is I'll fly around a little bit uh, This is the uh, an add-on. This particular, I, I, I come here often. The JDV by Jack Doe. Which JDV might mean uh, Jack Doe version. Jack Doe version, yeah, possibly. Not video. Jack Doe version. I mean, technically, you know, a cluster in a nebula. I don't know, but it, lo it looks awfully pretty. That's for sure. Um, just stop it right there. You know, what would be a cool setting on this for me? Add a few more stars in there, right? Oh, too much. Watch it crash. Right there. Give it some flavor with that. Uh, upping the uh, magnitude on the galaxy itself. Yeah. Then, uh, let's see what that looks like. That's probably a bit much. There you go. That's too much. All right. So let's reset that and just default it back out there you go back out of here in the milky way all right so should we look at uh something that maybe some of you know that i've uh again may have mentioned in the past about the random galaxies uh, procedurally generated galaxies in space engine there's one major in my opinion uh, flaw in it and I hope diversity was is being used a little bit more into the next version and here's what I mean let's click on one of these galaxies go to info okay that is uh, elliptical right those old galaxies are elliptical you know they possibly have had uh, previous galaxy mergers and uh, this is the way they end up looking either way they're very reddish in color very old these uh, elliptical type of galaxies if I click on another dot it'll show me those are common look that's a common look right there there's another elliptical. These are common. Okay. This is it. <clears throat> All right. Take a look at this. It's a boomerang looking type of galaxy. I want to click a few times and you'll find identical galaxies that look like this. This is what I mean by we need a little bit of diverse looks, maybe in the algorithms of uh, these galaxies 
click another one. These galaxies don't look surprising at all. Ah, there's another one. Now what are the chances? That's two. Have you seen anything that looks really different? No. I have not. They're very much ordinary looking galaxies. All the ellipticals look the same. There, look at that. That one's a little different. Gosh, I'd like to. Maybe that's something I haven't seen too much of. All right, let's stick there because I want to maybe. There's another elliptical. I need a boomerang galaxy. Anyway, believe me, there's another one. So, uh, boomerang galaxies, that's what I call them. And uh, there's way too many. You can make irregular ga galaxies. These are supposed to be irregulars. Irregular galaxies are not those nice looking spirals like the Milky Way or the Andromeda. They're not uh, elliptical, which are the old hazy looking ones that are normally huge like IC 1101 which is I believe the largest galaxy that mankind knows about in the observable universe I'm sure there's big ones out there okay so boomerang galaxy nothing special to look at so anyway there are a couple of there's a some galaxy now you can fly around in here and you will find oddities i think you will find oddities in the galaxies uh maybe you'll have a triple galaxy uh, merger which i made a video of which is a numbered series um it's almost like you think of it i probably got it already so i gotta really be creative here uh when i make these videos some of them appear the same or they resemble each other they're not the same they resemble each other um, this particular ga galaxy has a really large halo really large see right here's the meat and potatoes of the galaxy right here but it stretches out really far all right so when you uh Sometimes it's nice to get a video from the outside looking in. And you can see the magnitude here is relatively low. Uh, so that's really not far enough. So what I do is I <coughs> stay, raise the uh, magnitude of the stars. Move a little closer. Try not to crash this thing. See, if you go default, it looks like there's no stars here, but they really are there. They're just dim. And you raise the magnitude, and then you move slowly. Stretch it out. Stretch it. Stretch it out. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's about the extent of it. I believe I've been doing a reading here and there, not official news here, but there is thought that there are no intergalactical procedurally generated stars between galaxies in space engine. In real astronomy, yes, there are. And that would be cool. Just a lost, like a, a lost solar system out in between, for example, the Milky Way and Andromeda. Pretty damn cool. Imagine that. 
the bad thing about it is uh, if you have a solar system out that far your capability for exploration are really limited really limited and <clears throat> I suppose if there's life out there that are uh, intelligent your knowledge first and foremost has to be based on where you're located even if the beings that are smarter than us you know are we in an ideal location in the Milky Way for us to know what we know and a potential to know more well if you were look at this it's starting to more 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 actually I'm moving they're not stretching out to the right they're just getting deeper as I go in here see so I would have to say that uh, if your civilization and you're out way out there in between the galaxies how much can you know and if your if your technology is equal to that of where we are right now and if we were located out there we technically it'd be so hard for us to see even a star another sun and the sky would almost be black the only magnitude that you would be able to see is of that of other galaxies that's it that's your night sky just galaxies no stars uh, I think that would be uh, cool uh, for us to look at and see it for a day but I wouldn't want to we wouldn't know any better anyway but uh, I would not trade that in for what we can see right now of course there are visuals um, that uh, other civilizations have that would be better than ours and I think one great visual uh, for them uh, would be I hope it doesn't crash uh, we got the magnitude pretty high you go up Oh shoot! It's bingo. All right, let's bring it back up. I won't keep the magnitude up this time. It's just way too high. Yeah. So uh, two watching. Boy, am I lucky. But I gotta figure that uh, when when uh, you know stop recording and people watch it. I usually get, I don't get that many, maybe 30, 40, 50. Uh, but right now I got a couple. All right, let's move out of here. Let's get above the plane of the uh, Milky Way and see how we would, it would look like if we had a view. Because right now we are looking at it on an even plane from where the galactic center is. We're right on... Uh, in the arms in the Sagittarius arm I believe and uh, we can't we can't see uh, the other side of uh, the galaxy so everything in space engine um, that is created on the other side of the uh, galaxy is precisely generated another thing just before uh, you know I'm going to be up here over the uh, hovering Well, there it is. Okay, so let's increase it one more time. The magnitude just a little bit up. Let's pick one before it crashes again. And uh, we're going to see what kind of view they have from up there. 
right here. Let's see. Come on, man. Okay, right there. Let's go to just a dull place. Let's find a really nice dull area here. That's dull enough. But the view, if you were to be on this, there's the view straight below is the center of the Milky Way or the supermassive black hole resides. And this would be the view. Um, of course, if you were to be on the uh, livable planet, same kind of view. Uh, what do you think? you think that would be better? Do you think we have a better understanding of the uh, Milky Way from this vantage point than we do from uh, where we are right now? Yes, we would be. It would be better. Okay. All right. So, what did I do here? You know what's really... Okay, the nine key, I hit a button by mistake. Right, what did I do here? All right, come on. Whatever. All right. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, I wanted to cover those items there. Uh, I hope I answered the questions at the onset on how I make the videos and uh, so on and so forth. And I showed you the uh, like a little trailer of the video that I'm going to be making compare and the editing, how much that's going to make a difference between what I did and what the actual planet looked like. Um, so that is it. And... Uh, Thank you very much for stopping by, looking at it, and have a great day. It's Sunday night. Um, not much going on in my world. Hope uh, you guys have a great uh, week. Everybody deserves one, all right? And uh, take care. We'll shut her down.